Well, what we've realised over the past few years is wrong with photosynthesis in crops is that it's essentially the one component of crop yield that hasn't been able to benefit from breeding successes over the past 30 or 40 years. The problem that we're trying to address uh, in doing this work is that in a lot of developing countries in particular, there's not enough food to feed small families that are trying to send their kids to school, for example. One of the things that we're hoping to do through the, the research that we're doing with collaborators around the world is to improve crop production for smallholder farmers so that ultimately they can have more food on the table, enough perhaps to sell to other people. That gives them more income and it gives them the opportunity to send their kids to school and have a, a much healthier lifestyle, which has greater benefits for everyone around the world. Blue-green algae are able to photosynthesize incredibly efficiently using a system that we call the CO2 concentrating mechanism. So most crop plants and most other plants that you see around you in the environment, anything that's green, it photosynthesizes and it captures carbon dioxide from the atmosphere using an enzyme called Rubisco. And an enzyme is a protein whose job it is to speed up a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction that it speeds up is the capture of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and turning it into sugars. In crop plants that we use for feeding the world and for generating cotton, for example, that Rubisco enzyme is incredibly slow and it can't tell the difference between carbon dioxide and oxygen. But what blue-green algae have done is generated this amazing CO2 concentrating mechanism which pumps carbon dioxide into a cell and then into a specialised compartment called a carboxysome that's full of the enzyme Rubisco and in doing so surrounds the enzyme with the substrate for the, the reaction, carbon dioxide, and we get really efficient, really rapid carbon dioxide fixation. And that's really the trick that we're trying to take from blue-green algae and put it into plants so that plants can do that fixation much more rapidly and much more efficiently.